All right, I'm here at the Slice Engineering booth with Peyton. Peyton, nice to meet you. Good to meet you. So Slice Engineering has a, a new product on the market. Yeah, so this is our newest industrial hotend. It's called Mosquito Prime. It is currently the world's fastest hotend in terms of maximum volumetric flow rate. It has a practical maximum volumetric flow rate of 116 cubic millimeters per second. That's about half a kilogram of filament an hour with PLA. It's especially good at printing complex materials like TPU. Um, it can print with a maximum volumetric flow of 64 cubic millimeters per second with TPU. So it's got a really long uh, melt zone, uh, nearly twice as long as Magnum Plus at 61 millimeters. Um, it's got up to 150 watts of heating power, three temperature sensors because you've got dual melt zones, uh, but then all the standard benefits of the Mosquito Hot End, the one-handed nozzle changes, bimetallic heat break, the rigid construction. So you use the term usable print speed. So yes. you're saying 116 about is what you can uh, make nice prints with. We have this white paper that our engineers wrote up, very thorough, where they outline our, our testing parameters and procedures. The true maximum volumetric flow rate was, uh, I think, 180 oh, cubic yeah. millimeters per second. But uh, at that point, it doesn't look good. It's, it's, it's impractical to be printing that fast. So 116, that's the, the practical number. Right, I'm, I'm pretty familiar with high-speed printing on my channel. The yeah. fastest I've been able to print with stuff that looks decent is about 45 uh, millimeters cube okay. per second. You're more than doubling that, uh, almost three Absolutely. times, so, yep. so pretty impressive. And uh, like you say, when you start pushing those extreme rates, you end up with some, uh, some little issues, like it'll start shooting to the side or not mm -hmm. having good surface finish yep. or whatnot. So let me take a look at this. Yeah, I, was, I was looking at it earlier, and I noticed there's some uh, really special features on here. One is that it looks like there's a heat break in the middle of the hot end. So what's going yeah. on with that? It, that? That's exactly what is kind of happening there. It's, it's a second heat break to better uh, manage the two melt zones. Basically, okay. you're able to have uh, better temperature control in each area. This temperature sensor, we want it to read the temperature of the bottom. We're isolating that zone a little bit, so that way we can just have a uh, better management of each of those independent heating zones. Okay, and what is the purpose of having two different heat zones at different temperatures? It just gives you more control. I believe the, the upper zone, you'd have it actually hotter than the lower zone, so you're able to really ramp up the speed and then you get it to your printing speed. I've been interviewing a lot of people here at uh, Rapid TCT, and the name of the game for getting reliable print results is control and process optimization. Absolutely. So just tweaking it by a couple degrees and mm -hmm. making sure that every single part of your uh, your process is exactly the same every time. Because if you do it the same every time, in theory, you should get the same results. So yeah. that's what we need in order to bring additive manufacturing into an area where it's like very yeah. reliable. I also noticed there's a, uh, there's like a heat shield around here on the bottom. What is this material? It's a aircraft grade aluminum, similar to our, our heat sink material. Um, we currently already sell that for the Magnum Plus hot end. And so it just, it attaches to this one as well. Okay. It just protects the nozzle from your part cooling. Cool, and we've got a, a nozzle here. This is Gamma Master. We are super, super excited about Gamma Master. It's an abrasion resistant nozzle that does not require you to raise your nozzle temperatures like steel does. So you're able to print abrasive filaments, but you can print them at the standard printing temperatures. You don't gotta raise it five to 10 C. It has a coating that we use on it, a new coating that we call low gamma. And what that is, it's an incredibly low surface energy coating that makes it anti-adhesive. The surface energy is actually lower than that of plastics and polymers, so they don't want to adhere to the surface of the nozzle. And what do you see as the main application for the Gamma Master and this, uh, this new hot end? Gamma Master, we think, is for, for anyone who uses a 3D printer. Prime, the application, it's, it's industrial. Now, is there any secret technology inside of here that you can share with us, or is it kind of uh, under wraps at this point? Not secret, but there, there is one more thing that I, uh, I forgot to mention about it that is pretty cool. Um, inside of the melt zone, there's an internal flow splitting die. And so what it is, it kind of looks like the Mercedes logo. It's this little, very sharp, uh, almost like a knife's edge, wow. that down at the bottom as the filament's coming out, it's already molten at that point, but it's gonna break up the flow to make it more laminar. And that increases the flow rate some more there. That's part of how we achieve that 116 number. All right, well, thanks, Peyton. I look forward to seeing yep. some more content about that, uh, that prime there. And, uh, you know, I'd love to see some extremely fast flow rates because I'm always yeah. chasing those, uh, those cubic millimeters. Yeah, that's all what right. we do. Thank you. So uh, thank you. I'll see you later.